Dorms. According to data from UC Berkeley admin, over 25% of the fall 2023 undergraduate class at Cal live in them, with over 80% of those students being freshmen and new transfers. For the 2023-2024 school year, students paid anywhere from over $10,000 to over $17,000 to live in one of Berkeley's five residence halls for the year. Living in the dorms is often seen as a cornerstone of the so-called college experience, but what are dorms at Berkeley actually like? There's like mold here. And the, the ceiling's also falling down on some floors. So, like, one of our, like, our showers just don't have hot water. And also, one of our showers has been broken since, like, the beginning of the year. So, are the heaters in my room and, like, in my apartment, they don't work. If living in the dorms is part of the college experience, then complaining about them is too. But students with on-campus housing at Cal insist that their problems aren't just minor annoyances. Rather, these small issues sometimes morph into bigger problems, largely because they never get fixed. We submitted a maintenance request like the custodians did, but nothing's happened since. So I filed a maintenance request, except nothing was fixed. My first shower I took at UC Berkeley was freezing cold. And so obviously, as soon as I took that shower, I filed a maintenance request because that's what I had been told to do. Um, there was no response. For her part on the administrative side of things, campus fire marshal Amy Chen says that admin is receptive to student concerns regarding the dorms. You know, we do the best we can with our annual inspections of trying to keep on top of um, infrastructure maintenance and all those things. But since we are not there all the time, if there's something like that that we wouldn't know about, we would like to hear about it from, um, from the folks that are there. As for admin's perspective on the state of the dorms themselves, fire prevention specialist William Cliver confirms that the dorms, which were last inspected in April 2023, are safe and up to code. If it's the heating or the hot water runs out or something, that's not something that we can control. Uh, but the fire and life safety systems are maintained pretty well. Not having hot water is unfortunate, but that doesn't impact the sprinkler system, doesn't impact the fire alarm, doesn't impact your ability to get out. I will say in my experience though, uh, the units specifically are kept in pretty good condition. You know, there are things that are sort of outside of my control, like the room's always too hot or it's too cold, these kinds of things. It's a challenge to get those made a priority. From my experience, admin hasn't been helpful. It makes me upset because I feel like my concerns aren't heard and I don't feel like they care because I know this isn't the first time that they've heard about it. They always act when I email them, oh, I'll look into this and I never get a response. Sophomore Susan Reese, who lived in the norms last year, says that she encountered so many issues, from her heater to mold in the showers to having no hot water, that she called in an independent city inspector to come look at her room. Since nobody had answered my issues, I really felt like I needed some outside authority to hold them accountable. I just went onto the City of Berkeley website. I requested a city inspector come, like a tenant request for inspection. Ultimately, I believe he found 18 violations, most of which were on all eight floors of my building. I was really happy that he had documented this because I hoped that there would be some other accountable party. With many students believing that their maintenance requests are falling on deaf ears, some have taken measures into their own hands. For some families, that meant taking of Berkeley's many parent groups on Facebook. For Susan and Isabella, that meant founding the University Housing Rights Organization in 2023. Kind of by the end of my time in the dorms, I realized that like everybody always says, we only live here for a year, so like it's fine, we'll just deal with it. And then I realized the only reason I suffered the entire year is because that's what everybody before me had also said. Us and then a couple other people took the initiative to officially uh, register the org with the you know official mission being to make sure that students who live in on-campus housing have the basic needs they need. We want to see a clear plan of response response from the school. We want to see like how are you going to make the situation better for the students who are living there right now. You know we as students we have a lot of st other stuff going on like we're just trying to acclimate to college life. This is one of the last things that's really on our mind. We need more attention to be brought to these issues. We need maintenance requests to be responded to and we need students to feel like they're heard and that their concerns are heard because the more people who report these concerns the more that those who receive them on on the other end will know that it is an issue. We're at Berkeley, we're at one of the best, the best number one public university in the world. And so I worked really hard to get into here. I pay a lot of money to be here. If we're not even able to have our basic needs, we can't achieve and we can't do what we came to this school to do. To check out the University Housing Rights Organization, go to unihousingrights.org or go to at unihousingrights on Instagram. 
Reporting for Cal TV News, I'm Bella Lou.